Okay. Okay, kid. Warning. Don't plant knives. That's the warning sign. Trust me. I just started. Watch your fingers. We're going to actually need to do it this way. You want Grandma to show you? Here, I'll show you and then you can do it. Hey, that was our You idea. find the seam. You might have to stand up. You know what? Let me do this. <coughs> ah, your hand. Your hand. You never go towards your hand. Okay, Grandma's gonna help. You got it? I'm trying to take the tape off now. Okay. Careful, you are scaring me. Take this. Never towards your hand. That hand's in the way. You can use leverage. You just can never go towards your hand. Okay, let Grandma see it a minute. Get your hands back a minute. I'll give you a little help. This part. Okay, sorry guys about that. That was a second. But, just kidding. Let's go. Oh, look. I waited till Noah got back from school. He wanted me to wait. How neat is that? We're going to read this after we look inside. That's way. What's good to that waiter? Do you guys are a fast waiter and read that? 50,000 likes, please. I can't wait to see what's inside. Oh. This is going to be a taste phone. test. I want to use it. You don't mind? This trash phone. I'm going to let so Noah unpack it, and then I'm doing the taste test. Um, he couldn't wait. Remember when we got a knock on the door on Saturday? Honey. We have honey right here. I don't think it's honey, huh? Yeah, it is. No, it's not honey. Them are jellies, remember? I was going to say, is that cool? I don't know. I'm a kid. That's why I don't want my wood. Careful. Careful with the jars. Um, Noah, okay. are you sure there's no snake in here? <laughs> <laughs> Noah. Is that what do you call that, Noah? That you are? You're a something man. You're a reptile man. So he opened the box for me to make sure there was no snakes in here. I'm going to link the video below so you can see what I mean by that. Um, Here's some of the jellies. This one I'm not sure of what it says. I'm going to have to ask Scott. And this one here is. I got it all. Never mind the eyes, but I am just getting on the jelly. Show the top one. This one's plum. We're going to try these on the next one. Hi. <laughs> it's taste test time. I got a surprise in the mail. I got um, a channel blessing. I got some. Get ready for this. Are you ready for this? Chow chow. Chow chow. What it is. It is your garden vegetables over the summertime. All cooked up and canned by one of my favorite YouTubers. And I want to tell you who sent me this. I received it on Saturday, but you guys know, or you might not know, I work. So, and oh, have I had a day. I've been on the road all day, so please excuse my moo moo. This is called a moo moo, and I got it at the Goodwill. I want to ask Lee if um, maybe she thinks it would be okay if I sometime do... Uh, Goodwill fashion show. <laughs> I think that would be loads of fun. I don't want her to think I was copying her idea, but I think that'd be fun. Got me some crackers. I'm gonna try this. The channel name that sent me the special treat is Domingo Smondo, and um, he has this. I believe it is a dove. Now it could be a pigeon, but I think it's a dove. And uh, he has videos. We're friends, and he has videos where he's making chow chow. He's also making some jellies, and I'm going to link that below, so I want you to go check him out. I think you'll enjoy. Um, they're not just any type of canning. They're special canning. And I got a letter in the box, and uh, I wanted to read it. I let Noah open the box because he wanted to on Saturday. I was like, oh, let's wait. But it says, hey, sunshine, <laughs> this is just a small token of my appreciation. 
You are awesome, friend. Better read this to us <laughs> when you get it. Maybe others will be inspired to be start a YouTube channel. And I hope you do. I hope you do. And be part of this wonderful community of like-minded people. Be sweet and have a great day. And then he's, um, got God bless you. Love your channel. Love ya, Dominguez Lundo. I'll cover his real name, but his name's Scott. I don't think he'll mind me saying. And he sent me this letter. It might be backwards to you, but it meant a lot to me. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Let's give it a try. You want to? I was thinking about warming it up and eating it hot because I've never had it before. And I'll tell you what it looks like. Oh, God, it smells so good. I had to pop it off with the butter knife. Oh, it smells a little bit spicy. Uh, I know he used banana peppers in it. And he gives this to the girls at the um, farmer's market. So they're always glad to see him. They give him a little extra surprise in, in his farmer's market bag. But I see the banana peppers. Oh, buddy. I think maybe you could put this on hamburgers or hot dogs. But I was going to eat it like cabbage soup. Because I love cabbage soup. I've got me a cute little ball. I'm going to put some in a bowl. Because I'm going to eat it like soup. I don't know what else to do. But I feel like it's a garnish. Like you put it on top of salads. I'm going to eat the whole jar probably in the next couple days. I got so hot. it was, I was dressed too warm. Oh, I put going to put up a video. It's taking too long to upload because I don't have Wi-Fi right now. But um, I'm putting up a video that's just to get my hours um, watch time. So if you don't have time, don't feel obligated at all. I want you to watch this one. But um, the next one that comes up, don't feel obligated. It's just to get my watch time. But let's give it a try. Oh my god. It's a little bit spicy, guys. Mmm. There's big hunks of garlic in here. Red pepper. Banana peppers. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is a green tomato. Mmm. I love other people's cooking. It tastes so much better than mine. <laughs> Scott. This means the world to me. And I thank you so much for sharing your love. Right here. We are friends. Woo! Let's cool it down. One of the jellies I got was Wild Rose. And I picked this jelly. There's three other jellies. But I picked this jelly because of the name. Wild Rose. Who would want to taste a rose? Literally eat a rose. Oh, it smells floral, but it really doesn't smell like a rose. Maybe a little bit. It smells sweet like honey. My grandson thought it was honey. I'm going to put this on a cracker. I have to eat this to cool down my mouth. <laughs> oh, it's exotic. Guys, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm going to get a clean spoon because I don't want to double dip. Because that will spoil your food. If you double dip, this will live off the tongue. Let's open this up. We'll have a cracker real quick. My mouth's still burning from Chow Chow. I love Chow Chow. I didn't know I would like it. Oh, Paul Paul, I know that you want the recipe for Chow Chow. And I'm going to link this below. We'll get you the recipe if I have to forward it to you via email. Okay, Paul Paul? I know you were asking me if any of your subscribers have it. The recipe. Woo! Mmm. I could get in trouble with this. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? This is a beauty tonic. Oh my god. It tastes like sunshine. It tastes like a ray. Like the rays that come off the sun. It is really good. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. I got three more jars of jelly. I'm going to wait and do them another day. Because I want to keep my video short. And the reason why I'm going to keep my video short is so we'll upload at home. 
from my data plan. Don't worry, I'll be getting on Wi-Fi soon. And uh, Scott with a channel named Mingus Mondo, Junior Little Dove. Thank you. I appreciate you much. So check the links below. It's got his little recipes where he's making them. And if you need a written recipe, we'll figure it out. I'll type it up. Or I'll forward an email. He'll send it to me. And um, uh, next video coming out is just for my watch time. I tell a real funny story about toothpicks, though. I named it Toothpicks to Toenails. <laughs> so if you got the time, or if you're traveling, or maybe even a truck driver, you could just listen to it, or even as you're drifting off to sleep. But I think you might giggle in it. And I was driving up the river road today. We had a situation and a scenario. And uh, I know what soccer moms feel like now. Because I feel like I've been in the car all day. And I couldn't wait to get home. And try these wonderful yummies. And until next time guys. Bye. <laughs>